All right, I know you're kind of on a faraway shot here, but we had a mock-up X-ray shot. Now we got kind of a mock-up gamma ray shot. <clears throat> gamma ray camera sitting here. Now, granted, I know if we were doing this all proper and everything, we'd have our survey meters and everything. So we'll get our survey meter, looking at this thing, making sure, all right, we've got it all set up here. We would take our survey meter in here, and we would measure right beside of this camera down the guide tube here to make sure there was no radiation coming out, or at least not at a at a harmful level. So, <clears throat> we've got our mock up here, and I'll pull this stuff off so you can see it in just a minute. We've got our collimator here, we've got our tube we're going to shoot, we've got our loaded film down here just like we loaded it for x ray. Here's our guide tube, camera, <clears throat> cranks back here. So, now we're just going to crank this thing out, we're going to push the go. Okay, now granted, I know I have my survey meter by me, and if I were going to make this a minute shot, I would crank this thing out real fast. Maybe you saw that move through there. Okay, now we're at a minute, we're back behind some safe distance, we're back behind a wall, something like that. Okay, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. It's been a minute. Crank it back in real quick. Hear that click. That's how we know it's locked back in. We're locked in like that, so we're not going to get back out. So we can come over here, we can mess with all this, take our collimator off, all that kind of stuff. And yes, that was a rubber band holding that on. So then we would unload our film just like we did for X-ray, X-ray, excuse me, and run it through a processor or manual process. Okay? Simple little gamma ray setup.